Well, good morning, everybody. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in sunny and cold Central California. Um, I wasn't sure if I'd make another video this week before I take my vacation, um, but uh, yeah, I figured out I figured I would. Um, I had a little bit of work to do this morning, so I figured I'd show you guys what I've been doing. Um, so this is our our wiring closet for our lab building right there. My fifth most messy closet. Um, keep looking up because I keep thinking I'm hearing water up there. Um, so they had a, a new, two new devices added um, that are for COVID testing, automated COVID testing. And they put it in a room they call the TB room. TB stands for tuberculosis. Now, I'm not worried about COVID. I've had COVID. I've got protection from COVID. Uh, there is no protection from TB. Once you get it, you got it. <laughs> I don't want to get it. Um, so I begged and whined and pleaded and uh, got the people, lab staff here to go connect the cables on that end because I don't have the, the protective equipment to go in that room. I mean, they would let me just walk in just as I am right now. And they wouldn't say a word. But I said, well, what precautions do you take when you go in that room? And I said, oh, well, we need, we wear gloves and a gown and an N95 mask and a face shield. I don't have an N95 mask on me, so I'm not going in there. So I told them, you go, you guys go ahead and plug that in. I told them where the cables were, you know, and all they have to do to plug it in. So they're going to do that. So all I had to do was this end. So, um... We're getting to the point where we're probably going to have to add another switch in here, but um, I was able to locate a couple of uh, empty ports up here on this top switch here. It's a four switch stack. One, two, three, four switches. And um, we're probably going to have to add a fifth, it looks like, at some point. But today is not that day. I got two empty ports up there, so I just got a couple of uh, low cloak low profile uh, cables here is these you can see that those two um, one goes into this port one goes into that port um, I jumped onto my switch here on my trusty laptop which you cannot see apparently the oh it just went to sleep yeah, right when I pointed at it it went to sleep um, how am I going to do this with one hand? Let me see if I can log in with one hand. Uh, no promises. Control out. Okay. Keep still trying to press Control Alt Delete, and you don't need to do that anymore. Nope. That one. And that one. And I'll see if that's my password. That is my password. So all I've done so far is SSH into the switch located those two ports there we go located those two ports um, they weren't in the VLAN we wanted them to be in there's a, a lab data VLAN here and then a lab instruments VLAN so I moved those two ports into the lab instruments VLAN and uh, and then labeled the ports always important label your ports because you're going to come back in a year and say what the heck is that thing so label the ports and um, Earlier this morning, I gave her uh, two IP addresses because they need to statically assign them because uh, our EMR provider is going to reach out to these things for poll, uh, test results. So to do that, they need to build a NAT in their firewall, which has to go to a static IP here so they can get to that machine. So, um, Yeah, so I gave her the two IP addresses for uh, support team. Her vendor support is going to put those two IP addresses in, and um, they should be good to go. Um, I'm going to be out for two weeks, so I'm going to share all this information with Satish, and uh, Satish should be able to help them um, if should they need any help. So I am going to save this config. I'm typing save config. Yes, I want to overwrite the existing configuration. There it goes, saving the configuration. All right, we're all 
all done there. I can exit out of this. And, uh, there we go. Close this up. And I know people were asking me, what that? What is that laptop? It is a Dell Model 5560. Um, it says processor speed 2496. I don't know what that means. But yeah, it's a it's a Dell Precision 5560, and it's got a I think it's an i7. I don't know. It's just whatever they ordered me. I didn't I don't I didn't specify what kind of laptop to give me. I just said I need a laptop. Actually, I need a new laptop because my old one was. The battery was beginning to bulge and then split the case, so it was uh, it was time. So anyway, that's all I got for today. It's going to be kind of a short video. Um, I may make a few videos um, on vacation just to kind of, in case anybody cares where I <laughs> what I'm doing. I, I'm driving through a big flat place. Um, so yeah, I might uh, make a couple of short videos just as a, you know, Hey, here we are. This is what we're doing. Um, and let's see what else is going on. So, yeah, we uh, we're still uh, wrangling with our vendors on our, our firewall upgrade issue. This you know this last weekend or the weekend before. Um, it's looking like a routing problem, and we and nobody can figure out why, because there's no reason why it should be having a routing problem. It may boil down to the V wire. We may have to get rid of the V wire and make make that a routed interface. Um, yeah, we'll see. There's some uh, work coming up to uh, get rid of OSPF and just make everything static routes and. Uh, go back to the way we were because we don't change that much there's no read no need for OSPF really so it's just another layer of something we have to troubleshoot so anywho yeah that's all we got going on so sorry the camera's shaking I'm holding it with two fingers and my hand isn't that steady anymore so uh, that's all for this week thanks for watching if you like what you saw click the subscribe button click the notification bell and maybe even like the video if you want so, God bless guys, we'll catch y'all next time.